In this video, I'm looking at finding the interquartile range, also known as IQR, of the data in this table. Now remember that our interquartile range is given to us by finding our third quartile and our first quartile and taking the difference between them. So we need to find these two values first. So remember that the first quartile is at the quarter point of the data and the third quartile is three quarters in. That's why they're named quartiles, is one quarter, median is the second quartile, and then three quarters is the third quartile. So the first thing we're wanting to do is find our cumulative frequency column for this table so that we can find these points. So we are going to want to find cumulative, cumulative frequency of all of these values. So cumulative frequency is just a running total of the frequency values. So we're going to have 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11, 11 plus 4 is 15, 15 plus 1 is 16, and 16 plus 1 is 17. Okay, so now we're wanting to find the quarter point of this and the three-quarter point of this. So the easiest way to do that is to actually find, but I'm going to call the Q1 location, and that's just going to be how many we have, plus one, over four. Now remember when we were trying to find the median, the median was how many we have plus one over two. So this is basically the end divided by 2 and that gives us half. So the Q1, which is the first quarter, will give us one quarter. So we can use this to find our first quartile. So we have 17, 17 plus 1 over 4, 17 plus 1 is 18, 18 plus 1, uh, 18 over 4 is 4.5. So our first quartile lies 4.5 data points in. So we have two data points, third data point, and then somewhere in here, because we have three more data points, it gets us up to six. So our fourth number is a six, because we're after the score, and our fifth number is a six. We want halfway between that, six and halfway between six and six is six. So our Q1 is equal to 6. And then we want to do a similar thing for finding our Q3. Now the Q3 is located 3 quarters of the way in, so our Q3 location is going to be 3 quarters of our total. So we're going to have n plus 1 over 4, but we want 3 quarters, so we want to times it by 3. So we have 3 quarters of how many there are. So we're going to have 3 times 18 over 4, because the n plus 1 is still 17 plus 1, which is 18, and this is going to give us 13.5. So our Q3 is located at our 13 and a half data point. So we have our 11th data point is a 7, and our 12th up to our 15th data point is an 8. So we're going to have somewhere between 8 and 8, which is 8. So our Q3 is 8. So now we can go down to my IQR, and I have my Q3, which I had was 8, and I'm going to subtract off my Q1, which I worked out was 6. So this is going to give me an IQR of 2. So what this means is that half of the data is arranged 2 away from the median. And we can sort of see that we had 6 was our first quartile, 8 was our third quartile. So evidently somewhere in between those, most likely at 7, is going to be our median. And so within 2 around the median, we have um, most of our data. And we can see that because we have 3 plus 5 is 8 plus 4 is 12 data points, which is most of our data, because we only have another 5 outside of that. And that's what this interquartile range means. It's where the 50% of the data is located.